Hey guys, what is up? It is the Gas the Gengar, and welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. Last time we left off, we got to a couple gates of the, like, Elite Four check, I guess? I didn't keep track of how many, because I was too busy rambling on. And in this episode, hopefully we get to Elite Four, and we're going to start off with battling this dude. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out why the maker of this game chose a Goldeen and a Crawdon as the main surf and dive sprites. When they're not really like, uh, it's just weird. Like, I don't think I've even seen a gold. I, I think I've seen a goldeen so far, and I don't think I've seen a crawdon yet. And again, I, maybe I have, and I'm just not paying attention. I feel like there was a crawdon at the water gym we were having trouble with. Uh, for Saw Challenger with eight badges, was it you? That's anybody here. Get your priority straight, boy. Alright, so, uh, the shop. Okay, blaze badge. So that means we've gone through a total of. Alright, we went through five gates last time, apparently. So we only have three left. Oh, I've got it's Michael. Why is. What does he want? Okay, got that. Now, uh, Victor does a fairly big cave system with challenge to put off the Tunali to the test. Um, I'm exhausted from the track up to the path of victory and I still have to tackle victory road. Oh my god. Uh, so many victories. Um, where are we on the- oh wow, we're, we're right there basically. And then we guess we need to go from Chaco Town to Johto? That's right! In Chaco Town there was a- oh, that's, that's, that's where Temporal Tower is? Huh. Have we been to Temporal Tower? I feel like this place with the unknowns. Whitewood City. What? All, okay, I know where Olivine is. I know where Cinewood is. Evergreen Town. What? Okay, so... But, look, uh, but... The Poke the Johto League's supposed to be up here. I know that's Blackthorn. Cherry Grove. Uh, Violet. Azalea. Goldenrod, Tekrika, Mahogany, like Rage. I, I never heard of Whitewood City, but hopefully that's something cool. Um, Olivine City, uh, Cinewood. But, okay, so there's two, technically three new areas to go in Johto. So that's cool, at least. So I guess we're gonna go talk to Michael and see if he has anything for us. Chance, I'm sorry for what I may have put you through while I was in my power-seeking mood. I've put away that kind of life. As an associate of mine wanted to give this to you. We wish for you to meet him on top of the floor of Fusion Co. and Palm, Palm Tree Resort. If you don't remember, I hate to ask this of you, but I feel like it may be important for both of you. He needs closure, so please visit him as soon as you're able. What? He wants me to do it now? God damn it. But it. I swear to God, if I can't even freaking fly back here, I'm, I'm gonna murder somebody. Somebody better call 911, because Shorty's gonna be bleeding on the dance floor. Alright, so I guess we're going. So I believe that was. in Ocean View? No. Actually, no. While we're here, there's the boat, like, right here. So let's just take the boat. Right. Um, Serenity Isle? Yeah, there it is. I'm pretty sure it was over here. Um, I'm gonna go get my swamper because I don't feel like we're gonna need a battle for this quote unquote closure. Um, is it his son? Because his son really didn't do anything wrong, and he said he wanted to become a Pokemon trainer, so he was like... He was alright. Also, I feel like if there's a Pokemon in Johto that we planned on using, uh... That we already have... We might just use, uh... The ones we already have? Hey, the only allowed access to the perimeter is the freaking key. Well, I do. Alright, so fifth floor. 
Go for a penthouse key. Fusion. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, they want me to go to the other place. Okay. I think I'm, I. I don't know where that is. Um, I think it was Palm Tree Resort. That's right. Wow, we're wasting a lot of time doing this. So thanks, Michael, for wasting my time. Right, let's move Swamper out. Again, sorry, Swamper. No, I'm so sorry for the fast forwarding. It's just I'm. Just don't want to spend too much time doing this. Uh, I believe Palm Tree Resort is this one, right? Yeah. Um, actually, no, I forgot the PC is in here. Let's move. I wonder if Team Rocket's gonna be a thing in Johto. Also, while I'm here, can I. Balls, I'll turn some to me to 9.30. And I will sell those nuggets I have. Or anything I have that I do not need. So the nugget. Um need that. Um Yeah, that's really all we needed to sell. So I guess we're going it up. God fucking damn no! What the hell? I really don't want to deal with the stupid Pikachu. Michael gave you the key then. I guess he was relief after all. I've been thinking a lot about what I've done with my life chasing you around for revenge. What's the point? Let's battle one more time, just for closure, okay? For closure for what? You were a dick! That's all that was! For some reason you were a dick and you were not even giving us a reason why! I think I know what I need to do. I want to settle down with a trainer and battle for good instead of evil. I don't want to kick or say no, you're going to be my trainer. I get you into your PC. Why do I feel like that was going to happen either way? Alright, so... Volt Tackle, Zap Cannon, Light Scream, and Double Edge. I mean... He's a really strong Pikachu. Hmm. What? What's your OT? Okay, your OT is me. So you know what? I'm not saying... I, I, we might go through the Elite Four with him, I'm not sure. Also, that battle was settled extremely quick, so I'm not sure if I'm even gonna go through with that. So, well, maybe if there's like a water elite for it, I don't know. But let's get back to our real plan. Oh, that was a waste of fucking time. Yeah, no fast forwarding because I don't want to waste everybody's time with this stupid sidetrack. We were so close. Alright. Alright, I settled your stupid bullshit, Michael. Now let me through. Pikachu was under a constant struggle for revenge, but he seems at peace with you. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like I belong in too much anymore. Regina filed filed of Whoa! Okay, I'm going back to the sunny region for now. I forgot to tell you, I ended up releasing the Algapal King Guarantee and I felt like the right thing to do. Vidyat, you fly. Oh, that would, okay. Well, I mean... Wow, so his wife's one of those girls. Okay, that... That's just fucked up. One of those patterns. She feels... Like one of the uh, people one of my uncles is or used to be married to, or she just basically used slash used him for money and then 
just kind of does her own thing and doesn't even look after her own kids. Like, her, her daughter has Down Syndrome, and instead of watching her when, like, she's doing stuff, she plays the, oh, I'm too busy or I have a headache card and sticks it on somebody who's supposed to be relaxing. Like, last time I was trying to work on some stuff and... I got stuck sitting on a computer looking at her fucking paint on Crayola.com for seven hours, and that really halted my progress for the day. Um, let's see. She's also the same girl, uh, person who promised to take me to fucking Disney when I was like 10, or go swim with dolphins or some shit, and then just kind of never talked to me ever again. So, I mean, I don't have to deal with her, but she, apparently she still bothers everybody else here, but. I mean, hey, as long as she's not fucking harassing me to do shit, I'm good. I mean, I did. I believe I did get paid uh, paid for doing that, but she wanted to keep it a secret. So she literally told me after she woke up and got done whatever she was doing that uh, she would pay me twenty bucks or so. But I mean, that twenty bucks, like. I wasn't gonna make money from what I was working on, but I don't feel like 20 bucks made up for the uh, time I had to give up to watch someone else's daughter just because they didn't want to. Especially when I have no kind of experience dealing with said, like, kind of, like, person before. Like, I believe at some point we actually did go outside to sit on the porch, but it was starting to get really hot, it was in the middle of summer, it was only something 100 degrees, and they refused to go back inside. Though she's like sweating profusely and just flipping out, it, it's not great. And everyone who passes by the front porch was even like kind of worried that I was like beating up a child or some shit. But sh it's weird because I don't. I guess it's just because the sickness she has or whatever. But she looks like she's um I want to say like ten or eleven but she's actually as old as me, which is 20. Anyway, that's way too deep into a topic that didn't need to be talked about. I don't even know why it came up, to be honest. Let's see, let's... I think reason- yeah, recently I think it was PewDiePie who made the video. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna sign like, Oh, you watch PewDiePie, what a fucking loser. I mean, like, I don't mind him, just like I don't mind Leafy's here, or I don't mind other people. He's just a chill dude, doing what he likes, and everyone hates on him because, like, because he makes a lot of money doing what he likes, and a lot of people don't actually get that privilege. So they take their frustrations out on him because they don't get to do what they like and, you know, all that jazz. But he did a thing where it's like, it's okay to cry on camera and it's cool that you're open with your feelings to your audience, but it's you who turns the camera on. Which, when he said that, I felt like he was talking directly to me after uh, what happened in episode 18. And then, it's like, then I realized that I didn't even plan like, on doing that when I turned the camera on, it just kinda happened. Uh, like, I turned the camera on, and I actually, there was a little bit cut out from the beginning. It was just silence. And then I kinda went to the intro and did my thing. And it's just, I just started pouring, just like, I, it didn't, I couldn't hold it in, it just came out and I couldn't restart the recording because I didn't save or anything, and I, I... It would've just been a lot of effort to hide my feelings. It would've been a lot more effort and, like, needless trouble to hide the feelings I expressed than to just let people know how I felt. Make sure your heart isn't hard when you're a seasoned alpinist. Or just when you're good. Also, I'm using Spectre a lot, and I think now he's my strongest. <laughs> uh, let's go out to Kipper. He hasn't been used for a good bit. Let's use that ground. Oh, 
I really, I'm really indi like enjoying this game. I, I know I've said that a few times, but this game, I, I, I've said this plenty of times already. I know I must have. But yeah, this game had a rocky start, but the more I'm playing, the more I'm starting to like it, uh, and it's a really good game. Um, I really don't know if, like, this person's made other ROM hacks, and if I might play those, or that. I don't know if this was like his first and just kind of a test or something, or just like all that. But if I do do another ROM hack, I think I'm going to tackle Uranium first. Or I also want to try tackling the, uh, another Metroid 2 remake, because me and my friend Paul sat down for a bit when he brought this TV over and we just played it for, uh, like, an hour or two, and it was really good. I had no idea what was going on, because, like, to be fair, I did skip the intro, but it was a really good game. Um, it controlled well, it even had controller support, and, you know, that's, like, a huge thing for when I play games, because I'm not... Like, I'm a console player at heart. Like, no matter how many times someone tells me that PC is better, or I'll have a lot more fun playing this on PC, I, I can't use keyboard controls unless, like, it's Minecraft or something like that. Sorry about that, someone was knocking on my door. But, uh... I just find it hard to use uh, the keyboard controls for mostly anything because at least with a controller it has one scheme, one scheme only and that's like, I don't know, not really a scheme but like a layout and it uses those constant buttons for layout where it's like if I wanted to play a MOBA I would have to, I didn't let my Pokemon down because of my loss, I already came from, like with a MOBA I would need to use I think the, the mouse to move with Q, W, E, R, T, I think, as my abilities, and then one through six above that to activate some items I had, and and then there's like MMOs where it's just A, B, U, S, D to move, but then there's like a shit ton of stuff for different like window shortcuts and stuff. It's like when it comes to games, controller support is definitely a needed, basically, if you want to play it on PC. Unless it's a game, of course, that was made only for PC. Then I'm fine with it. I don't mind. But it's like, if someone tells me to play Borderlands on PlayStation 3 or Xbox, like, oh, I'm fine switching over from one console to the other because it's basically the same color scheme, or col control scheme, just different, like, button layout. But not by much, really because it's like the buttons are in the same position except for maybe the control stick was moved one direction or like to What the hell? Uh, I'm gonna try to catch you. I don't know what the catch rate for Delation is. Um, I know for a Male Flareon, it's fucking low as hell. Hey, Glacian. I'm pretty sure that's a Makuhita foot. <laughs> um, don't quote me on that though. It lowers its body, heat to freeze its fur, and the hair becomes like needles that can fire. Um, yeah, we're gonna name you. Wait, no, I wanted to nickname you. I clicked yes, didn't I? Oh wait, no, I'm pressing B right now. God damn it. Even right now, I'm playing with a controller, because keyboard on a uh, Pokemon game doesn't fly well with me. Um, and it's ex also extremely loud and just... It's just so annoying compared to just playing on like a Game Boy or something. To be honest, I would rather be playing Pokemon games on uh, the GameCube. Like, not Pokemon Coliseum or anything, like, more of a... I want to say, like, they, they had, like, this adapt, like, attachment for the GameCube where you could play Game Boy games on it. And I actually owned it for a day, but the people who actually we bought it from GameStop were professionals and didn't, uh... Damn. Well, 
100, 100. But yeah, they were so professional and everything that they, uh, they didn't give me the disc to make it work. So instead I just asked my mom to return it, and she did, and they said that they could just give me the disc for it, and I said, no, I just want a game. But I think that that choice was the wrong one, because now I kind of want the attachment. At the same time, I also don't have... The only Game Boy, like, Pokemon games I have are Pokemon Yellow and Crystal, but both... One battery I fucked up while trying to replace, like, I literally broke it off and it can't be replaced, so, uh... I think that was Yellow, who is now completely unusable. And... Crystal has a dead battery still, but I don't have a battery to replace it and I don't know how to replace it, and I lost the screw to the back of the game. <laughs> But it, I just it still sticks together pretty well. Um, I have kind of like a replacement screw, screw uh, that, like not the original one, but I still have a screw in the case. Um, but I would like to get my hands on a hard copy of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and Emerald. Like I would like to at least own an actual like copy of all like the games. Preferably with their box, but I know it's going to be a lot of money and stuff that I won't have. Um, I know I'm also trying to get a. Uh, I want to try to get a hard copy of Persona 4 for the PlayStation 2 before like the original thing. Because Persona 4 is definitely my favorite Persona game, and I'm glad that we're going to be investing in a PlayStation TV, which, if you don't know, it's a little. It's basically the guts of a Vita that you could hook up directly to your TV, and I ran Bond again, and now I'm uh, past the 20 minute mark. But I guess we'll... I guess I'll continue talking about this in the next episode. Right after this battle. So until next time... I, no, I keep fucking up... I don't know this outro. If you liked the video, subscribe for more, leave a like down below, comment down below what your favorite part of the series was and what you're looking forward to in the future, and hope you all have a nice day, and until next time, bye bye